Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Tuesday night. We've had some so far, but I'm in a bit of a funk right now. Now that we've the one downside, I will tell you right now. If you're focused on like beating your backlog and such, there are times where you look through your collection of games and you don't know exactly what to stream. Especially when you get off uh, on a game that like uh, Hand of Fate 2 that took you know, took pretty much like the entire month. And you think, you know, what 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 else could I stream? Yeah, there's those games actually I don't mind sitting down and playing and such, but I don't have the ability to stream like my Nintendo Switch. I just got that. I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors, but I don't have the ability to stream uh, for my uh, for my PC. So then I get to thinking, well, what you know, what what can I stream? And it's those times where, you know, I always have the most difficulty. So do we just jump to the next game and beat the backlog? What's the next game I actually want to beat? And sometimes, well, you try and actually let other people vote. So, that's what I did. I tried actually sending some message in the discords that I'm active in, asking, hey, you know, what game should I stream? Here's a list of games. And the people actually decided to choose uh, Shellshock Live. So, we're going to be trying that out tonight. Played, I haven't played much of it. I used to play a lot of these type of games, actually. I think let's just right on over. We actually get on in. So, what my basic plan is here for tonight is I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to play a little bit of the single player first, just to kind of get used to the controls, get used to the actual game itself, because I haven't played this game. I played the tutorial and the first one, Sitting Duck. I'm gonna play a little bit of uh, of the single player for a little bit, and then if there are people that show up. And if there are people who actually want to, I'll start doing some multiplayer. So it'll be kind of nice to see, um, you know, both sides of this game. Because there's a lot you can actually gain in this game. It pretty much is the effort, the amount you put in is the amount you'll get out of this type of game. So, I already start up here and we did tutorial. I already did tutorial, already did tank up. And now let's do double duty. Mission, destroy enemies of tanks. So, basic controls, and I gotta admit, I'm kinda shocked that this is how it controls. You actually control it with your mouse, for power and trajectory and such. I'm not exactly a fan of that, and you can do uh, DNA just to uh, move left or right. I don't think I have a timer since it's a single player. And looks like the only thing I have is uh, the shot. Oh, gonna fire. See how that does. Not even close. Oh, probably add a little more power to it. This is the one thing I actually don't like about this, is the whole, uh, like, without some sort of number system, that's the one thing I was so used to in a lot of these games, is having... Really? I'm so bad at this. There we go. So this is probably actually more like one hit, one kill. Okay, so you can just press. I can just press space. Oh, okay. I can actually use the walls to. Uh... Just use the walls to actually get your shot over. That... See, like I like that tells you it's like here was your trajectory. I kind of wish it was a little bit more mathematical. Yeah. And we finally got a level. A tank upgrade. And we unlocked the flower. Oh, how lovely. What? Oh, okay, so these are... Wow, that's a lot of shots. I'm getting this. Yeah, I, can learn, I learned you can actually level up your shots, level up your tank, you can level up pretty much everything. But I think this is actually really nice to sit down and do the uh, tutorial here, so... Splitter, I wonder. Just curious. Do you do it for me? Do you do it for me, game? Yes, you do. Here's how you do the splitter.
You know, before Worms, like, there were a lot of other games like this. I can never figure out, like, what genre you called this. Alright, let's do target practice. Hit all the targets to complete the mission. Okay. We hit the target. We won. Apparently we're a guppy. Now we're also called Earthquake. Got another tank upgrade. Oh, okay, it's the shot we're actually upgrading, to, uh, we're getting, or unlocking. Interesting. And we unlock Shell City. Let's do the split shot. I think this is actually nice to have a single player campaign in games like this to kind of get you used to the physics and such. Like I said, I still wish though. Like, I can see a lot of people having fun with this game though. A lot of fun. Yep, you guessed it. Hit all the targets and take out the enemy. Oh, you're kidding. Alright. I don't know why I messed with my fire button, but fine. Oh. Hey! Lesson was learned. Yeah, I'm too far. Let's do this. Ow! I'm guessing they also come down. Okay, good. I definitely sense, like, a lot of potential power creep in this game, too. Because if your opponent has more tools than you, then... Then you'll actually be in trouble. I'm gonna just fire here. I wonder... No, well, that technically didn't lie to me. Oh, I got a different gun. That's not... I didn't... I didn't pay attention. Well, I have infinite shots. Apparently I have stream next. Okay. You know one game actually I loved uh, that this is actually reminded me of? Uh oh. Oh, we're dead. Alright, maybe not. We're not dead yet. Oh, flame. Okay. What was it? What was that game? It was a really cute, like, Korean game that was really popular back in college. Well, I guess that's Guppies. Roller! I wonder if this actually will roll. It rolls. That's the Twinkler! Oh no, I have the Twinkler. Uh, a little bit of power... Interesting. You fall off the stage. Where he was. The 
soldier? Okay. What's the vulture do? The vulger puts up land. Got it. If I do this. Does damage. Banana bomb. Okay. We also apparently get health. That's a sinkhole, alright. Nice knowing you, Ralph. Mission complete. I like it's an actual gun. Three ball, roller, twinkler, bulger, sinkhole. I bet I was just I could probably actually switch. I probably could have actually uh switched my weapons. Double teamed. Destroy the enemy tanks and targets. Weapons. Uh two airstrikes, one two horizon. Alrighty. And here I was hoping, hey. Uh -oh. Okay. So, let's try to... Nope, still a really bad shot. Well, that was a devastating weapon. Okay, so it's that's not a one hit kill weapon. Oh my goodness. Alright, time to move. So cactus. Let's see what that does. Okay, cactus is easy damage. That also can do some damage. I also like how they're named thing one thing too. Okay. Alright, that, that actually hurts a lot. Er, what? Alright, <laughs> that happened. Mission failed. Let's retry that, shall we? Bulger back roller. What? Oh, just die, dem uh, dummy. How well, long gonna die? Fine. Nope, I'm just terrible at this, apparently. I get fuel every single time. Interesting. Can I climb up this? I can. Interesting. But does this do what I think it is? Okay. Fire through the rubble. This again.
that's my only problem, is without some sort of, like, energy meter or numbers, it's just guessing. Like, I know this tells you, like, what your angles are. I guess there is, I guess there is some lo certain level of power, but... It's not, a, like, to me that's not reliable. Try that, shall we? Okay, so it has to bounce. Gotcha. Uh oh, that's gonna roll backwards, actually. Uh, power, fire, bounces, and completely misses. This is definitely one of those games where you have to just know a lot. Okay, that explodes in midair. Okay, so not they don't explode on impact. That oh, that's good. They just give you a bunch of new shots as the, uh, because I'm guessing it's from the health pack. Let's try that. Let's try airstrike. Oh, alright, that was a lot easier. Well, looks like experience is only gained on what you what shots you actually land. Interesting. Destroy the enemies and the targets. Uh, we will shoot the target first. There, we destroy the target. Digger. Interesting shot. My goodness, we're all in a bunch of Tommy cookers. Challenger approaching. Nope, I was hopeful. That that one time with the splitter. Okay. Let's try this. Boom. Oh no. I'm not gonna use one bounce, that was a terrible one. Sinkhole. Use the power a little bit. And a fire. Use the power by a little bit. And. This will throw on flower. Flower does. Oh, just quite a bit. That didn't go anywhere. Just try just making the same shot. Shot actually would be good. You know what? Uh oh. Blow up. There. Let's, let's see if the back roller goes up hills. It does! Alrighty. Uh 
Yeah, that's good. Okay. Rest in peace, Captain. Up and unlock stone. Which is throwing boulders at people. Uphill battle. I think I should get a tank upgrade every time. Or a tank token. Stunted. I hope the multiplayer, like, you could choose what, what shots to level. Well, let's take a look here. So we can actually apparently upgrade our tank. I can upgrade the gun. Upgrade the luck. Increases the chance of receiving upgraded weapons. Interesting. I think there's also some talents as well. Hefty haul. Extra items. The grappling hook. Wow, you they really want you to play a lot. Expanded fuel tank. Uh, additional 30 fewer turn. Well, that just makes you more efficient. Heavy plating. Regeneration. Also, more regeneration. Interesting. What about the guns? You can only reset upgrades once a week. Interesting. Well, for now, why don't we just, just do... We'll just do a well-rounded build. And so, apparently, since they do allow uh, resets, and I kind of like that. I actually do like that. Uh, destroy the enemy tanks and targets. Ooh, okay. Now, I'm thinking what this is. This it is okay. I do like I do like these games. I do like a lot of games that actually do throw in a uh, training mode. I'm actually curious. I'm always curious. It's like if you just fire immediately, what happens? It's like okay. All right. Interesting. Huh. Care for you. And we're going to die. No, we didn't. We still have 50 HP. Or 55 HP. Time to deal with Mr. High Ground here. Uh, like that. I gotta remember that thing just like kind of blows up very early. Really good against him. A splitter. Twinkle, honestly, wouldn't be a bad one. I'm gonna try that again. Yeah, I was right where I was shooting. I love that shot. That shot's a good one. Oh, that's not good. That's gonna hurt. Oh, it's a banana bomb. I, I cannot. Oof. Alright, fine. You... You've gotten my attention. What Horizon does? Oh. Okay, Horizon just lit. Flat on the ground. Well, 
Well, the good news is, it allows me to take a position against him. Bad news is... How much power I need. I need a lot more. Oh, what is that? Oh, good. He friendly fire exists in this game. Okay, that's like a mega ball. Okay. I cannot. Can't shoot that guy. I can't shoot Matt. That's one of the problems right now I'm having. Well, actually, no. I, I, I can shoot Matt. There's a possibility I can shoot Matt. No, I need, I need more power. I need more power. Let's just fire the one, one bounce. Lot. Fire is not that great, is it? Six Dang, now it. Okay. Well, this gives a normal shot. Oh no. Okay, that's like a super digger. Oh, it's a reverse digger. Interesting. Very interesting. Gotcha. So I guess it's just based on how much damage you do with each weapon. Interesting. Let's see. Okay, so it's just, uh, it just follows your mouse. All right, let's try pedestals. On oh, pedestals. Okay. That's an interest. this is, actually, hang on a second. Uh, now. Come on, blow up. Blow up. Uh, it only blows up at the end, okay. Okay. Take care of that. I seriously only have one shot left? You're kidding. I guess I don't. I guess I have more than that. Okay. Oh no, I landed, but I won't kill him. Let's try that again. Oh. Yeah, 
That's... That's rough. Actually, should be fine. There we go. Now the challenge is starting to get actually difficult. I probably would definitely recommend for people to always do like if there's always a single player for like multiplayer games like this to always do them. It's worth the time. It's worth the effort. Uh, bounce explode. I'm curious. I'm always curious if they will just give you the trajectory. Okay. That looks like they give you the trajectory. Yeah. Yeah, a little more oomph. I think for the most part they... Nope, they didn't. Oh dear. Well, we're dead. Not enough of them. Or not. Okay. And the lesson has been learned. All I need to do... Let's see if it's actually a... Uh... Oh no, I just ran out of shots already. Okay. So, just fire the gun. I can do that. I can fire a gun. Or not. It remembers your... Oh. That kind of sucks. It remembers what your trajectory was from the last time you played. Okay, alright, fine, never mind. Always, that's always unfortunate. Oh. There's gotta be a way to speed this up. Yeah, we'll leave that. Really should be like a... A replay. Hopefully make it not actually bounce over. There we go. Bumper skill shot. But is it enough to kill all of them? Let's try that again. That's gonna go everywhere. Does <sighs> ever what I where I actually need to hit? Or not? Apparently. Oops. That's the yeah. 
Yeah, a replay function would be very nice. is the critical. Oh, I see. They also are meant to explode. That's what you're supposed to uh, meant to achieve. And apparently you also get the uh, mission following orders. Or achievement. I was just following orders, sir. Complete 15 missions. Alrighty. Let's keep completing some missions then. Let's see. Oh. I, I'm just always curious. Okay. Destroy Charles here. Oh, I see. Okay, shots left. Alright, fine. Let's try uh. nope. Only one shot. I'm a little disappointed in that. change it. Let's actually get the tunneler. I just want to hit the shot. I know that's going to be just a waste. Roller! Fine, you want to hit me with your, uh, that? I'll hit you with mine. Fire, and I missed. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Kidding. Fine. Uh. What was that? Um. Uh, Ooh, what's the sniper do? That's what Sniper does. A lot of damage. Roller Derby. Destroy the enemy tanks and targets. So there's two tanks. Oh, it's gonna bounce over. Just travel. Not far enough. Okay. You live this day, tanks. Oh, it's not gonna make it. Like a... What? Oh, two shots. That... All 
sucks. Only two shots. I definitely needed a night off. I still need to figure out what I, what the next beat the backlog is actually going to be. I'm torn between like another long game or something a little bit shorter. Just bounce explode. Wow, you do have to play this game a lot to to get the upgrades. Tanks and enemy targets. Let's see. For tanks, infinite shots already. Ooh, let's try stone. Have a stone. Okay, stone bounces. Oh, they're all going at once. Okay. Alright. I see what you're throwing down. Not a fan. Interesting. Uh, what does a lot of damage? Another banana. Oh. Okay. You're not prepared for multiplayer. Get ready to die. Back roller. Not a fan of the banana. I see what it, I, I see what they're doing with it. Though. There you go. At least Roger and Roger and who else? Oh, that's that's not gonna bounce anywhere. Snake from the literal game. Snake. One shot. I was afraid of that. Okay. Nope. Interesting. I actually like this. I like that there's a bit of a puzzle here. I need to move forward.
this is this is one thing I'm not like the trial and error part. Nope. Yeah, I guess I just need to be a lot more forward to get the lift. Trajectories are actually very difficult in this game, apparently. The one thing I, I'm noticing what this game doesn't really teach you how to do... It doesn't really teach you how to aim. Like, it teaches you what the shots do. But it doesn't teach, like, their weight. It doesn't teach, you know, any... It doesn't teach you anything for a person who is, like, more of a mathematical mindset to be successful. Like, it very much just treats you, teaches like a trial and error sort of, de uh, sort of game. Like, sure, you have, you know, if the numbers would actually appear, apparently they're not going to appear. Like, having to hit all of these... That's the one thing that this game is really missing. It's missing... Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, how's it going, G? How are you doing tonight? Well, this is, you know, they only give you one shot, so... I don't even count. This should do it. No, it doesn't. That actually kind of pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually annoying. Didn't leave much for adjusting because of the reset. Yeah, everything just, you know, you have to just... Like I said, it doesn't teach... This game, the one bad thing about this game is it doesn't actually teach you how to do the most important thing that will separate, like, a average player and a great player, and it doesn't teach you how to aim. Or it doesn't tell, like, what the weight of a shot is. Like, so I'm kind of stuck doing a trial and error sort of deal. And for the most part, that's, you know, for your average person, they're just going to be fine with that, but... Not having... Right amount. Just working on some D and D stuff. Very nice. Also, how's it going, Michiru? How are you, Michiru Swift? How are you doing? This should do it. There we go. I just wanted to do like the single player for a little bit, because just throwing yourself into a thick of a game, and apparently since there's a lot to unlock. It's not exactly a smart thing to do. Also, I'm kind of curious what the Glock does. Ying and yang. You're doing all right. Very nice. Yeah, I'm honestly, I was in a bit of a rut. Uh, a bit of a rut just to kind of figure out, like, what should I stream tonight? Infinite shots again. Let's try this. Like at the first like first couple shots, like okay, you need to know like you're gonna be doing some blind shots. You're gonna be guessing and estimating how much energy you need to put in your shot and such. It gives some feedback. Like, let me let me, let me be a little kind to it and say it actually does give you some feedback. Three ball. 
But yeah, for the single player missions, I would rather have it be a teaching to teach people about, you know, how to use the weapons. I'm in complete agreement with you on that. Let me alter that a little bit. There we go. What weapon did he use? Okay, they just fell out of bounds. Pink. Yeah. Oh, I should have stopped. I should have used the sniper. Oh, looks like I'm gonna get a chance anyway. I'm still trying to figure, remember what that game was. Like, you could buy costumes. The little, each little tank was a little bit different. How much damage does this actually do? Hundred if you actually hit it dead on. My goodness. The zipper. I'm curious what that does. Okay, that's the electric shot. And that just it, it zips back and forth. Okay. Ooh, that actually hurt. I'm surprised it's alive. Tank game that looked very childish. I used to play a game like this that was on the uh, uh, Tandy computer. Actually, like it was all DOS. Really? It, it lived? I'm a little shocked at that. I expected that to three HP. Great. <laughs> That's a upgraded version. Just fire the grenade. Nope. I don't like the grenade. Grenade's not great in my opinion. Should just use the back roller. Fire the back roller. Gunbound. No, you're no. Okay, yeah, that was the game. That was the other. That was the game I was thinking of. I was thinking of Gunbound. I enjoyed playing that game. Until I realized, like, how much money they actually wanted you to grind out. It was still a fun game. I like the electric tank. Like, that was my favorite tank, was the electric tank. It was always a good shot with that tank. Two shots left. Okay. You loved it, you had some killer sets, then all the company hand changing, your account was lost. Man, I don't even know what happened to my account. I can't, I don't even know if I, no, I probably would remember what my login would be. Nope. Yeah, I think for single player it should, for things like this, it should be infinite. You're not teaching anyone anything. Like, I, I should just do leave. And yet I think it actually might be... Whoops, that's the wrong thing. It might be more... It might be... This actually is more steps than just failing intentionally. Ah, come on. What was your favorite tank in Gunbound? See, like, I wish there was, like, some number system here. Like, there's no number system to tell me it's, like, where, like, my angle or approach or anything like that. Oh, you gotta kidding me. Come on. Well, now I gotta figure this out. 
Bounce high. Duh, of course. Yeah, I never played. I played the game a lot, but even then, like, you had to play a lot just to even get, like, a costume. So just figure out how to get this one. No, let's. <laughs> I mean, at least it loads quick. Okay. Nope. Grub was pretty sweet. It was one that shot balls uh, that would bounce. Is that like the yellow one? the yellow one okay I remember one that was like um <sighs> okay I don't remember which one I also hate there were a lot actually some of the tanks I was just terrible at fighting at like those I remember there was a spider one I remember what the spider one did Take care of that. Or it doesn't. I'm a complete liar. That, that's right. I think the spider was the one that had the uh, curve shot. Nope. I really... Let me guess. No, that's not going to change anything, because... They added a second spider, like, I did not stay around that long. Or, um... Come on, there's that. That should do it. Or not, I'm... God damn it, I really hate this. This is annoying! Than anything else. See, I just wish there was, like, a reset button. Like, there, this game should have a reset button for the single-player mode. Or just, like, change the leave to, re uh, to retry. Of course, I don't know how long this game has been around. Yeah, I'll take care of that one. And... Nope, not high enough. That's hot, that's crushing. Like, that's, honestly, that's what the one thing I really just hate about this. This is why this, to me, this is not, like, I can see this doing, like, casually and doing for fun. But it's like, if you actually want to get good at this game, you're not going to get good at this game. Unless you play an absurd amount of time into it. Because you're not, this game doesn't have any options to actually teach you how to fire. Like, how to really fire. How to actually aim a shot. Like, it's giving you uh, the trajectory and feedback, which is nice, but it doesn't teach you the numbers. You need to know numbers. It's all about mathematics. Like, the one thing I remember back, even back in during the Tandy days, that made the, this game, this genre, I don't even know what to call this genre, honestly. I, I don't think people even actually gave it an appropriate name. Was that... You have, you ha you basically could type in the power of your shot. You know, they didn't have, like, worms where you had, like, timing. But even then, worms, it's like, you had timing with it. Of course, that game gave you a lot more tools. Um, and feedback. Gotta be, no, it's just a shot. There's no point. Yeah, it doesn't, it, well, it doesn't give you the ability to learn, like, 
Like, I'm basically just firing willy-nilly, hoping that it'll just land. Like that. Finally happens. So you get the you get the lucky you get the lucky shot. Apparently I also got the cat. Apparently there's a cat bomb. And apparently you can also speed through the uh the leveling process. Interesting. I know it's got a round chassis. What's a round chassis supposed to do? Uh shop? Bank parts? No. I'm surprised it's like Gear spawns from explosion in multiplayer matches. Pick them up uh, with your mouse before these appear. Okay, so that's multiplayer only. Uh, okay, so I can have a little round design. Okay, so this is actually some cosmetic stuff you can do. Yeah, let's go with round. At least they definitely give you a enough... Um, Plus two? Interesting. Eh, I'll leave it. Two things, power and angles, would make this infinitely better. I agree. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? Actually, hang on. That seems to be like the options. Uh, let's see here. Victory Tune, Profanity Filter, Lobby, Lobby on Steam, V-Sync, Game Controller. I saw that, actually. That was interesting. Rain effect rumbles, animation change, progress, tanks, part, weapons, items, challenges, plan, shop, and tunes. Huh, nope, I guess nothing. Firing range? Firing range. Okay. So there is numbers. Why isn't why isn't the power and angles in the single player? Hang on, I gotta be imagining this. Go to 90 degrees here. Oh, now they're there. How lovely. Yeah, 100, negative, yep, yeah, okay, so now they're there. Alright, that actually helps. I'm talented with shooting. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Okay, it's a sonar shot. Uh, I hate the one bounce, one bounce is dumb. Dead weight, digger! Power a bit. Fire. And we still missed. Alright, let's see here. Snake action was pretty good. I don't even know if it's a toggle or not. There's no button. You know, oddly enough, I think this game might be better. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so you can actually use your uh, keys. Let's enter. Okay, that's much better. That's that's much better actually. So you don't have to use the mouse. The mouse is nice and quick, but you don't have to use it, which is actually good. Although I think a lot of people like using that. The speed, and I'm all washed up. Plus, you'll also be probably choosing weapons a lot. Uh, 40 points, do it. Or not. Actually, with that, I could finally use the one bounce. I don't know why that wasn't on. That was weird. Uh, that should be nice thing to do. There we go. 30 damage. 
Oh, that just made the flame shot a whole lot easier to pull off. Uh... Or not. That changes everything. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's facade. WASD to move up and down on the keyboard. You, I guess now makes me wonder how you would quick select weapons. Thank you. All right, Tanky, let's go. Here's for the dead. Thing. Frog bomb. That should probably be around... If this is actually what I think it will be... Dead weight. And... No. More power, 75. And I hit him. Kind of just walked into it. Uh, Tunnelar's not going to do anything. Stone. Stone bounces? Yes, it does. Send the guppies. At least it's nice enough to give me a new set. get past that. Okay, just barely. Oh my god, I'm being attacked by my lucky charms. Nope. Okay, all right, it worked for some reason. Did you get this game, G? Or do you not have this game? And the shots level up based on how much damage you've done. Earned a thousand experience. Okay. You don't have the game? Oh, okay. Uh. What? Alright, hang on a second. Okay, this is a pretty cool shot. Not the shot I was thinking of. I'm not gonna kill both of them with this one shot. Oh, I have three shots. That actually is kind of underwhelming. Yeah, now the numbers are gone again.
this game still in like is this game like in early access or something? I'm gonna try this, see what happens. Feels like it at times. Yeah, if they had the numbers, like the information a little bit more. Yeah, I lost my numbers. I don't know why I lost my numbers. I guess, yep, three, two, one, okay. The marksman challenge, marksmanship challenge. Yeah, like, the numbers should just be an option. I'm just gonna see. I should be insulted that I'm actually able to pull the, the shots off without any information. Wow, you, those wow sniper just has to be dead on shots each time. I mean, now that I know, like the wheel is, you know, it's like okay. Yeah, I I need the numbers. This is ridiculous. Let's actually do something. Here. So what I can do. Go back. We're gonna go back in the firing range. And we're gonna leave the firing range. Go back into single player and go to sharp shooting. Okay, that didn't fix it. Hang on. Okay, there's the numbers. Numbers are there. Go back in single player. Let's go back into sharp shooting. And are my numbers there? My numbers are gone. Okay. All right. I don't. I honestly don't even think like. This is ah, oh, this is so bad. I don't think they're. I don't attribute anything towards malice, but could easily be explained by, yes, yeah, stupidity. And this just kind of screams to me as like, we didn't know what we're doing. Uh, you know, they, you know, they don't even know that this bug. It probably is a bug. But they don't even know exists, and their player base just and the people playing it never even reported it. Although I will say I'm I'm kind of miffed I can land like without any with the bare minimum of information I'm able to figure out how to actually land these shots. I'm kind of I should be very salty about this. That I can even like land half of these shots with no actual information and because this is like a challenge mode Because what would make this a lot faster is like, okay, great, I know that from where I am, 
angle, let's just say I'm at an angle of, or not, not my tank, but let's just say I'm aiming at an angle here. Like, what is it? Let's see here. So, 180. So, this is, so I guess this is, this is 90. That's the 180, so that's 90, so this is 45. So I'm fighting, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 20. Okay, so there actually is... So this literally does take like 45 clicks to actually, uh... to actually land it. So at least there's that. So now we know it's like, okay, with the keyboard here, you know, up. And that's actually another thing that I really hate. And this is something that should be consistent. Especially in a challenge mode. Just start by giving us a consistent power level. Like. At least give, you know, it's like if you can't give us the numbers consistently, then give us, like, the starting power. Like, start us, at, start us off at 50. But I'm not going to know that because you're just ra it just randomizes it every single time. I can see why people like this game. It has that worms... It could be as good as, like, playing a really, really good wor game of worms. But having, like, your constant power... Like, no information... No numbers. I don't know why they're not giving me numbers. It's not helpful. Like, it turns, like, what I should actually be really enjoying myself. Like, now it's giving me, like, 80 power for some reason. Sometimes it's giving me 50. Sometimes it's giving me 80. I don't know why. And because I can't know how much power I'm putting in my shots, I'm not learning anything. I'm not becoming a better player because of this. And I know, like, it'll probably be a lot wackier if I play the, you know, the actual multiplayer. If anything, I probably should just jump over to that right now. I'm just gonna, you know, let's actually just jump over to the multiplayer. Something tells me if I just do multiplayer, let's see here. Some dude's game. I so level. My goodness, look at the levels on these guys. Other games. Let's just do quick join. Make things a whole lot easier. Let's see, shot tracer, turn time, shot type, wind, wager gears, atmospheric nudge, use weapon level, max level difficulty, or max level difference, items, I guess we click ready, yeah we click ready. Uh, type all, wind is zero. Yeah, okay, so you can even have wind in this, too. Tells you how much experience you're gonna get. I wonder if there's a really an active player base in this game. The two upgrades available. Okay, gun level plus three. Okay, so you can basically just make sure you get more. What's this? Reinforced steel barrel increases crit and damage by 0.1. Adds to other upgrades. 
Anti-tank missiles are used, increasing crit damage by 0.15. Gun level plus 5. What do you do? You like call grooves. Addition of threading on the tank's barrel increases crit. Okay. Interesting. So they're very micro, you know, m minimal upgrades. Interesting. Oop, and I just barely pull up that person's profile. Let's not do that. And everyone left. How lovely. Oop, that's single player. Come to mid. <laughs> if this literally is experience trading. Uh, okay. Why can't. Can't you just leave me in a ready status? See, that's the whole down uh, downside about a lot of these uh, games now. It's like. And I find console games are probably actually better suited for it, is trying to actually get paired up with randoms. And also, why did these guys get to change? Oh, okay, Team Red, Team Green, okay. Alright, so I guess your color is chosen by Team. Don't do random math. If these guys are literally experienced trading, I will be... Can I even change my color? Or is this like something... I think you can change your color. Maybe it's something you buy. Maybe it's in the shop. Okay, themes. It's probably themes, then. Oh, this literally is an experience. That's an experience trading map. What the heck? This is not bringing a lot of confidence. It's not like a good first experience. I guess we'll join team two. Deathmatch. Destroy your opponents. Free game movement. Okay. Also, I'm noticing like the numbers are gone. Ooh, try Glock. Curious. Curious what Glock actually does. He wins 30. Let's try a 50 50. If Glock is literally a gun, like a straight shot, I will laugh. Yep, Glock is literally a straight shot. Okay. Yeah, good weapon that will actually... You know, a back roller would actually be a good first shot weapon. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised that Glock was li uh, literally a... Um... Wow, these guys really do Oh, that's an actual... Okay, alright. Interesting. So I guess your items are just randomized. Man, how are you even gonna be able to actually upgrade your weapons then? Like, I would expect to be able to bring some sort of, uh, kit. Forty-five. 
Oh, right, I need to think about the wind. I'm completely ignoring that. Oh, how lovely. A times two damage bo uh, bonus. Why that hit? Uh, 18 win. Try that. This is all against us? Eh, maybe. I don't even think the guy actually shot anything. So far, he's in too much of a stacked deck. There's actual portals in this game, that's actually kinda cute. I wonder why these guys are always shooting all the way up in the air though, I don't understand why. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How can you grab the gear when it flies off like that? No wonder why people play this game with a mouse. Grab the gear with your mouse that you have a second to react to when you should be playing this game with your keyboard. And also, I've noticed, you know, there's no number. Well, actually, no, I do have my numbers. Uh, actually, that's fine. That should be fine. One's ten. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up winning. Like, there's a chance. It's it's even now. No, no, they're not even aiming at me or anything like that. Ooh, that will that changes things. I do airstrike. That's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting result. And he just blew himself up. And... I don't need that. I can have it. Well, that's not good. Why? I'm gonna do something like this. Ah, oh, a little more power, that would have actually been really good. Rampage! Why is he killing himself? I think the guy's throwing the match. I can see why people would want to. Oops, that's the wrong way. Let's see. 75. Nope. Oh. Uh, we have to grab the gear. Okay. Oh, that... Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Banana. Dead weight. Bounce explode. Bounce explode is actually pretty decent. Although these guys are just going to shoot straight into the portal. Or they're just going to kill each other. They're just going to kill each other for some reason. I'm actually curious right now. On what would happen with that one?
Huh, that was interesting. I would not be surprised if this Migo guy starts trying to kill himself. Okay, that was... gears that actually gets. I'm guessing that's more weapons? Yep, that's more weapons. I guess you would have to specialize. You know, using a weapon. Good shot with a roller. Uh, I have no idea what that vortex does. That's gonna hit the other guy. I wonder what the vortex was. Ooh, stream. Actually, no, stream's not that great from far, uh, far range. Yeah, let's just use an airstrike. That's airstrike. Be overkill, but yep, it's oh no, it's not no, it was overkill. Oh, give me that gear. Thirty-one round bonus, thirty-two, and I survived. Oh god, it literally is a one-to-one -one ratio. And this is a global rank. How <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, of course the other guy leaves immediately. See this, I can definitely see why a lot of people like this. Let's see. The R, I guess the R is for random. You can set the HP. This like it has all the customiz uh, customization items, right too. Even makes a little incentive for wager gears. Although I wish the gears would just accumulate with you automatically. Like you knock it, like you knock the stuffing out of your opponent should give you the gears. Let's see. Um, I should... Oh, I'm out of fuel already. <laughs> Um, I am smart. I always forget about the fuel. Uh, 35. Probably shouldn't use three ball right away. Oh, let's use grenade. Or I complete in fire because I was in the middle of changing my shots. Interesting. Well, that goes to the purpose of grenade now. This stone spitter. Why do they always fire it up into the air as high as possible? There's gotta be a reason for that. Like some sort of bonus. Wow, I'm really lucky with that shot. Okay, maybe not that lucky. Way 
too far. I guess you have up to 80 armor then. Wow, dueling snakes. Okay. Alright, that's gonna be interesting. If that does anything. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, things get pretty crazy. Horizon, that makes the ground flat. If it fires, it can get up close. Cactus. Let me try that again. Still a wind in our direction. I would probably start moving if I were them. As long as I have the wind with me, my shot's gone, but if it's against me, I'll have to increase the power a little bit. Okay. I'll try 50. Or adding just 5 power. Probably overshot. See, I see why a lot of people play the, uh, play this game. Oh, so that's what the vortex does. It angles your shot. That's interesting. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Have another grenade. Oh, gotta click the gear. More grenades! More power for everyone! See, I have been thinking about making this like a... like, this to be one of the games for multiplayer nights. But I think I need to do some polling with, uh... people to see, like, where their interests actually lie. Ooh, that was an interesting shot. Or an interesting weapon. Let's try Snake, actually. Uh, a power. Nope. That's it, it's not gonna go. There's, there's gotta be like a high altitude bonus. Oh, and I need to move. Uh, alright, fine. Force me to move forward. Uh, let's change you to splitter. Thank you for the gear. I'm actually surprised I hit both of them. <laughs> I do notice, though, I'm not getting the normal feedback, like the trajectory. I think that was the back roller. There's gotta be a benefit to doing, like, high-angled shots. Okay, that just everything changed. I 
That should be fine. And... Oh. Well, I still got one. See, the problem is they're not moving. Like, they're not forcing me to re-angle my shots or anything like that. Which is making this a lot easier. Just realize that. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that would... Ooh, he's gonna get a good hit. I can change my angle a little bit. That would also force me to change a lot, too. Actually, that changes a lot for me. Uh, fuck me. Power. Have some fireworks. You gotta start with the basics where you start trying to be fancy. See, Migo needs to move. If he doesn't move, I can just press the space bar again and it should be fine. <laughs> Although I will admit the guppy shot is kind of funny. That actually did change things. doesn't do a lot of damage, unfortunately. That was a good area, though. Two rapid fires. Oh, I got another splitter. Both of these guys are near dead. Two and five HP. How much do you have? 89. And I'm sitting at a lovely 194. killed himself. I don't think you have to worry about that anymore. Oh crap, I just realized the one's against me. Well, I think I just shot my own partner. That's the inverse of the digger. And I'm the MVP. Okay, so they... Oh no, so that's basically just showing how many gears we got. Wow, that's a lot of experience needed for... Oh, they all left. Ah, oh, come on. I can see why this is a fun game. I think a lot, there needs to be like, there needs to be a lot of uh, quality of life improvements though. Take by the host, how lovely. Oops, that's the wrong thing. I can also see why people like, uh, will want to trade experience. For things as well. Cost actually to get something. That's a lot of playtime you have to put in to get to get things in this game. Right, so there's special weapons. Volcano throwing stars. Even maps are ex pretty expensive too. Tank parts. That's just custom. It's a lot of it is cosmetic, thankfully. But ready. I wonder what the star ranking means. Let's see if we can get one more game in at least. But yeah, that's the one problem though. It's like the PC market, you need to have a solid group of people, or you need to create some sort of uh, player base. 
to really enjoy a lot of these games compared to console where it's more like random draw. Like I like was it? I was playing arms. Let's use arms as an example. You know, there are people who play arms. It's like, okay, you just jump into a match. You're good to go. You're playing the game. Like it would could you play with people? Yeah, definitely. It would be very nice. But playing with um but at least you know you could play with randoms. Compared to like a lot of PC games I've noticed playing, you don't get that. You know, unless you're playing like a really popular game, like Player Known Battlegrounds. You know, that or Fortnite. That has that's that's very trendy right now. So there's a lot of people um, that are queuing up just to play that game, those games, or you know, a game that you know will have a huge player base, like Overwatch. That's another huge one too. Any upgrades do I have available anyway? Three upgrades. I'll just wait till I get four. How many do I need? I just need... Actually, no, I could actually get a reinforced barrel. Interesting. Increase gun upgrades, increase your tank's chance of a critical hit. Makes me wonder what it actually results in. What's luck do? Luck upgrades increase the chance of receiving upgraded weapons. Okay. And also increase the amount of loot found in each crate. Okay. And fuel, steeper, steeper hills and such. You can see how doing like a well-balanced build is beneficial. I still don't even know what to call this game genre. I'll be honest, I have no idea. But I definitely would let the devs know, it's like, I need feed, you know, it's like, the players need feedback. You know, one thing that always made these games really great is being able to know, like, what your angle is and how much power you're putting into your shot. And something like Worms, like, the Worms weapons sort of gives a lot of, uh, you know, room for error. So if you're firing your gun, it's like, oh, okay. You're not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna worry too much about, you know, missing too much. Especially since those are a lot closer compared to this, which has a, like a, it has a much, a much bigger scaling. Or I guess, I guess, would you say it's bigger scaling or smaller scaling? On that ready button. There we go, we got one more game going. This will be the last game for the night. Deathmatch, destroy your opponents. Uh. Oh, okay, alright, fine. I'll just be at the angle. Let's use. What's a good starting weapon? Pixel, Builder... Bigger... Bigger actually wouldn't be so bad. Those are some good hits. That's actually really bad. Alright. This is gonna be a dumb shot. This is either going to work really, really well or really, really poorly. Yeah, it should, hopefully, work the way I hope it would. Nope, it does not. Oh, okay, so it actually is a black hole, too. Okay, so it's also a black hole. Interesting. Strike. Oh, I'm getting destroyed here. 
Oh, I can't move. Okay. All right, fine. That's fine. I can't move. That's fine. There. Maybe I should actually put some into uh, tank treads. Oh, the terrain changed. How nice. Maybe I can finally move if I survive. They have my shooting solution. Yeah, they got my number. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna move. Oh, that's just gonna go into the black hole. That's unfortunate. I wonder if people actually have already made hacks in this game. Oof. Interesting. Oh, should have put a lot more power. Ah, I don't know. Yep, needed that a little more power. Items. Interesting. Actually, well, I know it does that. I mean, I can live. I don't think I will, though. These guys are just using spread shots. Nope, I lived. I can actually do a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try that. In downtown. Let's see how well that does. See, I wish the also the tracers would also stick with you. So that was a waste. Oh, that's gonna... I'm, I think I'm dead. A breaker. Like, until the terrain evens out. Like, even that's a smart design decision. It's like, here you go, okay, you're not stuck in a single area making yourself a sitting duck. I have a feeling I'm going to die, though, in this shot. Like, there's a lot of random elements that are actually not healthy for the game, but... Aw, oh, you're kidding me. Um, shoot, it's better if I just don't fire, isn't it? Actually, no. Try that. That was the safest move I could think of. Yeah, no, that... It would also be nice to know if the game would actually tell you if there was a bounce wall or not. That's another thing that definitely needs to be conveyed. Actually, now switch to breaker. It's like no, at no angle. Oh, 
Oh, that surprisingly didn't hit me. shooting. No, I'm dead. Rip. <laughs> yeah, so they definitely is also a power creep if you just, if you're dedicated and keep playing the game a lot. Keep building up, boys. Keep building up. <laughs> I guess that was the witch, something that you could buy. That simply is something else I'd like to see. Like, there's so much dead air for the person who died. Nice shot. Uh... That you kind of, you could just be sitting here for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes without doing anything. Like, the... Devs could definitely put in something to let you earn, like, gears or something. After you die, or some sort of... Game. Like, I know game within a game is kind of, is kind of ridiculous, but still. Like, if you want the experience and stuff, you gotta stay. But having to sit down and just, like, wait it out. Red boxes. Is that supposed to be like a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, and down he goes. Rest in peace, Grimro. Welcome to the graveyard. There's got, it has to be something that gets you, like, more experience. Like, I find that to always be very unhealthy about certain games. Like, play this specific style to gain more experience. Like, that to me is always unhealthy. Especially in a game like this. Good shot. Um, where it's controlling... Where it's influencing how a person should play. Like he's just doing lobs because that'll probably get that'll probably get some experience. Which in turn makes him play, which will make in, your average person to play worse. Like in a game that already requires a lot of a lot of mathematics, a lot of skill to be able to actually land your shots on your opponents. Really good hits. Yeah, he needs to move. Oh, he just killed himself. Yeah, he's dead. He just killed himself. That... That was talent. Right there. Oh. 
That was that actually was amazing to see. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh well, rest in peace. One little gear from it. Okay, so you don't get any gears post game match. Interesting. Interesting game. I can see why people would enjoy it. At the same time, though, I feel there's not enough information being given to the players, or there's a lack of information being given to the players. Oh, what the three means? Oh, three. We have three gears left. Okay. Never mind. are all pretty important then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 8. Interesting game. For, like, how much it costs, the $5, if it's on sale, it's actually okay. I would definitely say... Oh, daily win bonus. Okay, what's this? Okay. Nice, nice little roulette. Alright, 10 more gears. Let's Actually, nice. Well, I guess you just have to win a match. Interesting. Although, I'm gonna stop for now. That's our stream for tonight here. But there's a couple actually things going on right now. Shout Factory TV is still doing their Misty Science Theater 3000 uh, marathon uh, exposure. He's actually streaming it near Automata right now. And also, Cthulhu the Third is also streaming. If you enjoy watching someone who's excellent at retro games. We're talking Nintendo, Genesis, uh, all these games. He's an excellent streamer to watch and uh, support as well. That's gonna do it for me tonight though. Tomorrow I don't know what we'll be doing. We might actually, I might throw it up to a vote. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what to do next. Um, just because finally got back into streaming. But at the same time, just finished a very long series, Hand of Fate 2. It's a really good game. I enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, and just trying to figure out what to do, because that's always the downside. You just can't figure out, like, oh, great, I finished this long thing that took the entire month. What do I do next? I'm just trying to find, like, that game I would want to stream for uh, the two-hour stints. But other than that, other than that though... Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed Shell Shock Live. You can actually buy it on Steam. Until then, though, thank you very much for watching, and take care.